God, it's hot. No, he, this must be a joke. Good evening, everyone. Right now it's 8.02 on Sunday, August 16th, 2020. It's another Sunday, you know what that means. Another fireworks show can be lighting up our night sky. Just, and just like last time, you'll be able to draw raffle tickets and from the stall located in the plaza, I'll be there accepting the best items for fireworks, for custom fireworks. We don't actually have any new designs for custom fireworks. I mean, we could go try to find some. I don't see why we can't go do that. There's no... He must have said that as a joke. Yep, nothing's changed there. That must be a joke. There's no way he legitimately said it again. So I, po I popped up Twitter, and the first thing I see is... It's a clip of Fall Guys. And someone, like, reacting to the clip. And I haven't seen the clip. Okay, so I'm just, like, I haven't watched the clip and I'm not going to play it now. But then below the But then... So it's, like, somebody reacting to the clip about how, like, tryhards are ruining gaming. And stuff like that. And then Ninja, you know, Fortnite Ninja. Um... Cringiest moment in gaming, getting people to fl floss at New Year's Eve, Ninja. Is, um, reposting the, the phrase, it's just a game, is such a weak mindset. You're okay with what happened, losing, imperfection of craft. When you stop getting angry after losing, you've lost twice. There's always something to learn, and always room for improvement, never settle. He, I'm assuming he's reposting it as a joke. There's no chance in hell he thinks he can just say it again and people aren't going to clown him into oblivion like last time. He's got to be re-saying it as a joke. Because the first time he definitely did say it seriously. And then everyone clowned on him so fucking hard because it's such a dumb fucking saying. There's no way he just say it again. Unless he totally just did, which <laughs> he probably totally just did. Is this the one I want to wear? Yeah, sure. Something more casual. I'm fine with that. And then where are they? They're there. I need a hairpin of some sort. I will get a dingly bopper from Isabel, so I might as well... Oh, shit. I might as well just take Isabel's dingly bopper. There it was. And I, so, I did not wake up early enough to do turnips, so that ain't happening. Maybe we'll do turnips next week? Maybe we'll do turnips next week? Knowing me, the price is going to be 500 this week. 
but I just completely forgot. Praise be unto Lord Helix. We should go around and look for some fossils, because we might as well. You know, it's, it's that time. Also, I might as well show this off. So I've... Uh, so I have a webcam, I've used it in the past, and hey, I have it back. <laughs> New angle this time, because why not, sure. But yeah, no, I, I have a webcam, so I can now do webcam things if I really want. Oh, it's not this one, that's... It's uh, this one. So yeah, I can totally play Animal Crossing and we can do um, webcam. I will never use this. Like, yeah, sure, it's kind of neat to have, but I don't need it. Nobody. You don't need a webcam to make a right. That doesn't make anything. It's just, it's just kind of neat. Oh, my chair gets. Ooh, my chair is stuck. There we go. That's a little better. But yeah, so I can now do whatever. I don't know. I haven't really messed around with it. And then, if we head back to the full view, oops. And it, like even show, like you can see my Funko Pops, my Garbo, some of my soda collection in the background. I, I have a few things. My Pringles. I don't know. It's just kind of a neat thing to have. It's not that big of a deal. It's just hey, I got it back. Cause colleague starts for me tomorrow. I have online classes starting tomorrow, so I needed I need to get my webcam back. So I did. I can't tell if these trees are fully grown yet, or if they need to grow a little more. I can't really tell. We got all these flowers. We got all these flowers. Stuff's already growing. More purple tulips. I think those are black, or those are pink. But well, we got black tulip. I was looking at this one when I said black. But yeah, it should just be a nice, relaxing time. God, it is hot though. Stupid hundred degree weather. So we might as well go around, look for some fossils, you know how it goes. Nothing new on that front. There we go. Oh yeah, cause this is, yeah, okay, okay. Give me a second. Let me grab something. My back. Oh, that was weird. It broke on me. For just a quick second there. Oh my god, Colleg, it's gonna be I mean like going back to Colleg, fine. Fine, that's not too hard. It's the it's the two classes where I have to go down to the university. That fucking like I still bet September first. September first is the university is gonna be closed down. And ever, it's going to go fully online for everything. There's no guarantee, but if I had to bet, if I was a gambling man, that's what I'm gambling on. Oh. But talking about Fall Guys, they re revealed the new costume for the next, like, three days. And it's the bullet from Enter the Gungeon. 
I am a moderate fan of Enter the Gungeon. I've never beat it before, but I have played it a fair amount between PC and Xbox, or PC and Switch. I have played it. So I am excited for a Gungeon, right? A Gungeon skin sounds cool. I, I totally want that. You need 10 wins to get the Gungeon skin. I have currently... I think I've won nine times in total, but I currently only have like four crowns. So I need to win another six times if I'm going to get that Gungeon skin, which I want. So maybe sometime, maybe in the next like two days, we might stream some Fall Guys with my goal is to get the Gungeon skin. I don't know. It it depends. It, a lot depends on how my cla my online classes turn out starting the next few days. Cause who knows how freaking busy I'll be. I mean, it's the first week, so it's all just classes going over syllabi and whatnot. But still, I we'll see how busy I am. There's our money tree. Oh, and there is also our money tree. I noticed the spot before I noticed the tree. I also noticed this. We're missing one more fossil, and I have no idea where it is. I haven't seen it anywhere, which surprises me. But yeah, it did suck that I missed out on turnips, because I guarantee you turnips are gonna sell out, go big this 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 week. Like that's a very high probability. So nothing down here. What about like in this weird like middle area? Because I only have three. Yeah. Here it is. I figured it was going to be somewhere around here. Yeah, I want that Gungeon skin, man. That bullet. The bullet's so good. I mean, legitimately, the bullet is one of the fireworks that can pop up. That's... I like Gungeon, and the bullet's cute. I want that bullet skin. And I'm going to try. So yeah, we'll, I'll probably stream that sometime this week. So I, I'm assuming the bullet skin goes away on Wednesday, so like... I have to do it sometime before then, but I need to get six wins. I have not won in almost a week. I probably have... Actually, I probably haven't won in like seven days. I have had very good, no bad luck with that game. It's... it's And it's all the team games. Like, in races, I'm pretty decent in the races. I can... But when it comes to team games, I just get stuck on the worst team. Yellow team. And I keep losing at team games. And the few times I have gotten to Fall Mountain, I get to the top of the cliff before anybody else. But the crown is at the top of the peak. And by the time it lowers down, somebody on the other side, or somebody on my side, is able to get a running start, go up and get the crown. It sucks. I can't win Fall Mountain. Hey, Whitney, how you doing? If I had to choose between gifts of 100 fireworks or a gift of 100 roses... Well, I would choose the fireworks, of course. Though, darling, the gifts give giver really should consider tossing the roses as well. Ah, oh, that's cute. Well, let's go sell some stuff at the store and then we'll talk to him again. A clothesline, a writing desk, and a sink. I think we have... Most of that. I know for a fact we have the writing desk. Yep, that looks good. Sold. Thank you. 
Let's see what they've got. I mean, I don't know if I have a white brim straw hat. I know I definitely have some of these other things. <laughs> sure. So I did want to, I did talk about looking up patterns. Let's see if we can get one or two. Okay, let's, let's see what I can find. We did have like one more, one, one or two ideas. And maybe in the future I'll actually make some, but. Because we still got two more fireworks show before, before the end of the month. We did talk about this. Let's see what we can find. Oh, look at some of these. Look at some of these. See, this is what I wanted. I mean, the obvious one is to go for the pixel sprite. But there are some others in here that I do really like. Like, that one's pretty cute. This one's pretty cute. That one's pretty good. I guess we can go with classic pixel art for now. We're running out of space. Ooh. That is something we do have to be worried about in the future. Did I have any other ideas for design? Um, there was... <laughs> I mean, we could always do a dick, but... Eh, I don't know how funny that would be. Oops. I wonder what this is going to give me. Bean. Eh, it was kind of funny. Hey, TPS. How you doing? Any other good ideas? We got a Pokemon. We've got a Kirby. We've got a Mario. Ooh, do I have a... Let's, let's see if I can find this. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of, I'm looking for this, but I don't, but I kind of wanted something clear and not like a white background. Is that? Yeah, it's kind of got white and then all the colors poking out of it. Yeah, this is basically what I want. Alright, there's two more designs for now. We can always get rid of the podcast logos. I had an idea for them a long time ago, and then that idea just kind of fell through, or more correctly, it evolved into something entirely new. Yeah, let's go with evolved. Not like that shitty uh, Turtle Rock game, but like actually evolved. Hey, Isabel, give me a dingly bopper. A flower bopper. Okay, I'll take a flower bopper.
So we've got all those, but we now got this one. And that one. Cool. And maybe next time we'll add two more. Let's see what's uh, here. A bug off on the 22nd, which is what, Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Okay, and then Rolf's birthday is the following Monday. Hey, Carmen, how you doing? How do you think you get fireworks fly through the air and make fab shapes like that nougat? As performers myself, I really appreciate the artistry behind it, you know? Hey, Nan. We get to watch these fireworks together. Good company makes all the difference, events like these. Let's go buy a few things from Red, I guess, because we can. Oh, yeah. Sure, uh, we'll buy a few things. I do want to get a fountain firework, just to show that off, because we haven't yet. God, I just got two tweeters in a row. Blue sparkler. And I think I think I think we do have fountain fireworks in the house, so I could totally go grab those. Bubble blower. Blue sparkler. A lot of blue things tonight. Oh, balloon. Oh, there we go. There's our fountain firework. I'm good. All right, let's go check. Let's go put. Let's go check the bank. See if there's any money we could put in the bank. There probably is. I mean, we've been around long enough to know that there probably is. What the heck is Tom Nook doing over there? Ooh, surfing KK. I don't have that one. Yeah, all the other stuff is pretty standard. We do need to water some flowers tonight as well. And let's go watch a little bit of firework, and then we'll water some flowers. Then we'll watch a little bit more firework. So, I know everyone's over there, but we did kind of set up an entire firework area. Hey, it's our town flag. Oh, look, there it is. You can barely tell. And... Yeah, that's what I wanted. Look at that smash ball. Oh, that's great. Where's my water? Hmm. Interesting. My desk is up. My The wires on my desk are a mess. An utter mess, if I do say so. Hey, it's Kerbo. Luba. More Kerbo. I'm so surprised at how okay that Kerbo turned out. Ah, uh, the bullet. Bullet.
<laughs> so there were, there's a big piece of news question mark. Yeah, let's roll with news question mark. So I guess on Amazon UK, there was a listing for Skyward Sword for Nintendo Switch. I don't think it said Skyward Sword HD. I think it just said Skyward Sword. I, I can look it up right now. Give me a second. But I think it was literally just Skyward Sword. I have to go back a little bit. So yeah, we're probably getting a Skyward Sword of some sort. Yeah, Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword, and then in parentheses, Switch. On Amazon UK for 69 euros, or pounds, I guess. It'd be pounds, because it's Amazon UK. This item has not been released yet, blah, 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 blah. So, the question is, what does this mean? Are we finally getting Skyward Sword on Nintendo Switch? I mean, sure, I could see it. I, we did talk yesterday about Mario's 35th anniversary and how Nintendo has been thrown into chaos. Even though, I was it Spawn Wave? I think it was Spawn Wave who was talking about how Nintendo might actually, as early as this week, announce Skyward Sword, uh, the Mario 60, the Mario collection. I think they were talking about, like, it's, like, a lot of people are expecting it very soon, and I know there was a lot of rumors that we were going to get a Nintendo Direct sometime between August 11th and August 22nd. There was a lot of talk about that. And now people are seeming to say that, yeah, or at least Spawn Wave is saying that they're expecting Mario 64 to be in it, or the Mario Collection, whatever it's called. I still kind of hope it's like the Super Mario All-Stars 3D Basically using the original R-Stars branding again. That would be really cool. But I would tot a Nintendo Yeah, the Mario 64 collection. That would be great to see. And I would personally like a Skyward Sword HD. We got Twilight Princess HD. And I, did we even, didn't we even talk about this recently as well? Where like I could see Nintendo releasing two Zelda collections. Because next year is Zelda's 35th anniversary. So I could see them releasing a Zelda collection, one with uh, Majora's Mask and Ocarina, basically ports of the 3DS, and then a second collection with uh, the N6, or the uh, Twilight Princess and Wind Waker. And then they just release Skyward Sword. Or I could see them just releasing Skyward Sword. Because Skyward Sword was the game for Zelda's 25th anniversary? Right? I, it was 10 years ago. Skyward Sword was 2011. I think it was Zelda's 25th anniversary. So I could see Skyward Sword HD coming out this year or next year for Zelda's 35th anniversary. I think it's completely plausible. Will we see it? Uh, I don't know. Because there was also the, the idea that Recently, there we got more information on Amiibos today. That right, we know Hero and Joker come out in the beginning of October, but there's also being reprints because at some point Nintendo said they were actually going to reprint all the Zelda Amiibos, and so far they have actually reprinted a fair chunk of them. There are only three, as far as I know, three that they haven't reprinted. Maybe four. I don't know if they ever reprinted the Guardian, admittedly. Like, you know, the Guardian. But they reprinted... They have not reprinted the Bokoblin from Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess Link, and Skyward Sword Link. And also, in this amiibo dump we got today, they are announcing another reprint of the here of the champions from Breath of the Wild. Daruk, Mifa, Urbosa, and Rivali. We know they're getting a reprint. And I especially bring up the Zelda amiibo because those three Zelda amiibos without a reprint are the only Zelda amiibos I'm missing. They're also some of the only amiibo I'm missing. 
those three Zelda ones, and I'm missing like two of the Animal Crossing ones. No, three of the Animal Crossing ones. I'm not... Okay, yes, there's a few other weird stuff here and there that's just Box Boy, for example, the Gold Mega Man, shit like that that I don't care about. But Zelda-wise, I'm just missing those three. So if they re-release those three... So if this is just a misprint, and this is actually supposed to be uh, Skyward Sword, the Skyward Sword Link Amiibo, I wouldn't be surprised. I am also totally would not be surprised if this is actually Skyward Sword. Because... Aonuma? Who's... Okay, so Skyward Sword was directed by Miyamoto and... Uh, is it not Aonuma? Who? Fuck, who's the other guy? He's done a lot... He's directed a lot of Zelda games. And infamously, Miyamoto and him squabbled over Skyward Sword. And, like, Miyamoto would go in, like, behind everyone's back, make all these changes to the game... And then Aonuma would have to come in and fix them. I don't... Again, I don't remember if it was Aonuma or not. But at some point a few years ago, he said that they were going to make Skyward Sword HD. And, like, sometime... Right... Like, back in, like, 2017, during, like, Zelda... The Zelda Symphony. Which was for the 25th anniversary of Zelda. And then, at some point, in Like, he said, like, he misspoke or something like that. And we haven't heard anything about it since. But I've always suspected that we were going to get Skyward Sword HD. My biggest hope for it has always been, like, a, basically, like, some of the changes they made to Twilight Princess. Where, like, you can do it where a dialogue box only appears once. So, like, you pick up a blue rupee, you get the dialogue box, you never get the dialogue box again. You pick up an, or, an earth-bearing earth -bearing dung beetle, you get a dialogue box, and then never again. Because if you play Skyward Sword... You get a dialogue box. You So you get the dialogue box when you first pick up the bug. And then let's say you turn off your Wii. You're right, you exit out of the game, turn off your Wii, boot up the game, and then go pick up another another like lady bug. You'll get the dialogue box again. This was infamously highlighted in Chug in Chugga Conroy's Let's Play of Skyward Sword a few years back. In which he got, I want to say, over 200 repeated dialogue text boxes. So that's a fix they obviously need to make. Another fix is I would like to see multiple, like, like, f I want them to scale back on Fi. Like, I want there to be, like, a mode that's, like, right, the default mode, which is, like, kind of how the game worked. And then there's a mode for experienced players that basically gets rid of, like, 60% of Fi's dialogue. I mean, maybe you can still ask her about it in hints. But if you actually play through Skyward Sword, Fi just gives a lot of it away, and she's very intrusive. She she shits on all your fun. So I really would like them to just get that out of the way. Either make it the default feat, make that the default mode, and then make like an assist mode that adds back in all that dialogue that just keeps it there, and then the normal mode just gets rid of it all, or you can ask her for it in hints. Cause it's a lot of dialogue. That should, like, if you were to ask for a hint, I'd be like, yeah, that's useful. But the problem with Fi is that she just gives it to you, regardless of if you ask or not. And I should say, even with those two problems, I still enjoy Skyward Sword. I still think Skyward Sword's a pretty good game, and I would 100% play it again. I've actually been meaning to replay it the past few years, but I've never got around to replaying it. But I have been meaning to replay it. So at some point, at some point, if, if this HD happened, like this is one of those like classic games where it's like, you want to replay it again, but you're pretty sure something like a remake's going to happen. So you don't. And yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with Skyward Sword. I'm pretty sure the remake's going to happen regardless. So like when I wanted to replay it last year, I didn't. The last time I even got close to touching the game was when Chugga Conroy did that Let's Play, which again is a pretty good Let's Play. And yeah, I, but yeah, I like Skyward Sword at the end of the day. Does it have problems? Is Fi annoying? Yes. But does it have some of the best dungeon design in any Zelda game? Yeah, easily. Does it have some of the best music in any ga Zelda game? Hands down. Does it have the best characters of any Zelda game? Maybe. Groose is, Groose is easily the best bully character I've ever seen. One of them, anyways. He's like top ten bully characters. He Groose is 
the way they handle him is amazing. Nintendo clearly, I know Nintendo doesn't like story, and Skyward Sword's story isn't anything special, but Skyward Sword has some damn good characters. Some memorable ones, at least personally. I know not everybody thinks that way. F you may not like Fee, but you remember her. You fucking remember her. Let's go water some flowers. Let's see my special fireworks one more time, though. Oh, Kirby. But yeah, so that was the big... That was the big talk today. Are we getting a new Skyward Sword? I I hope so. I Or Skyward Sword HD. Or, I hope so. I would love to play Skyward Sword again. I would love me to play some Skyward Sword again. God, that Smash Bros. Fire... fire the Smash Ball is now my, like, new favorite firework. I love the colors. Oh, the colors are so great. I came in mid rant and I honestly love Skyward Sword. I'm glad someone else shares a similar love for it. Yeah, Skyward Sword. Yeah, good to see you, Ivy of Salem. But yeah, I'm. I, I want. I want that remake, man. I. I want to play it again. I do really want to play it again. It's not a perfect game, but oh, I want to play it. I own it. Honestly, <laughs> you know the one thing that did suck when I bought it though, I don't have. It came with like a gold Wii Mote with Wii Motion Plus built in, and my I bought it, and it didn't have the gold Wii Mote. Like I didn't. I bought it like third hand, like second hand. Ah, uh, I'll keep. So I use remakes, but it's still great to hear. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, honestly on the Switch, I haven't bought that many remakes. I I didn't buy Mario Kart. I didn't buy half of the remakes. Basically, if it was anything on Wii U, and I'm only barely considering Pikmin. Like I, cause just cause I like Pikmin three, but with Skyward Sword, it's a Wii remake. It's been a long time. It's I played it for the first time in like 2011, 2012. Some some. Sometime around then. Maybe early 2012. And it's just been a long time. What other... F I did have other flowers I need to water. What am I doing? But God, I will... I, I totally replay Skyward Sword. I... Part of me does worry about the motion controls. But... I, I stand by. Skyward Sword does not have bad motion controls. I've played through it. I did not have that problem. I'm gonna be waiting f for that remake... Then again, hopefully, well, I was planning to buy a Wii to get it again. Yeah, I did. I I had to buy it again at one point. Because a lot of people bitch about the the motion controls in Skyward Sword. I don't think they're that bad. Honestly, I had more problem with... So, moving the Wii mode around to, like, move your sword, never had a problem with. But you have to, like, shake the nunchuck to get the shield to, like, go up. That was what I had a problem with. Now, admittedly, I don't... My nunchuck on my Wiimote kind of sucks. Like, I have definitely seen it deteriorating. Especially in recent years. But that, that was always my bigger problem with Skyward Sword. Is I felt like the nunchuck wasn't responsive. But the sword always worked really well. And that's why I think Skyward Swords... Maybe they'll probably have to redo, like, the inventory system. Hey, Mush, how you doing? They'll probably have to redo, like, the inventory pointing... But I know one of the great things about Skyward Sword is that you can actually play it without a sensor bar. Because it relies more on the gyro controls than it does the Wii's pointer, you can play it without a sensor bar and still have a perfectly fine time with Skyward Sword. So I so while a lot of people like do wonder like can you re, like can do, would this Wii game work on the Wii U or would this Wii game work on Switch like what was, oh, Pikmin 3. Pikmin 3 is the great example that people have been talking around. Because Pikmin, people love the gyro, or the Wiimote. People love using a Wiimote in Pikmin. And it's a pretty good control method. I honestly, in Pikmin 3, I just use the gamepad. I know a lot of people... Oh, I did get the King Tut mask. Oh, we can make that and drop our balloon. Eh, I'm not going to do that. Maybe another time. But a lot of people complain... Like, people like the Wiimote in Pikmin. And people are wondering, like, if they're redoing the controls for Pikmin 3 with a controller, will that work as well? Like, if they try to implement gyro controls, 
won't that be a problem because the gyro is going to drift, right? The controller will, because the controller drifts a lot. Like, I know when World of Goo came out on Switch, people had problems with the controller drifting. And yeah, no, that is a real problem. But Skyward Sword, I actually think, is one of the better games to do gyro with because the controller doesn't need that input. The controller doesn't have to worry about drifting. So yeah, I think Skyward Sword on the Wii, on Switch is going to work perfectly fine. Yeah, they might have to change some things, but I, I think for the most part it could be a pretty uh, dandy port. So we only need three more tulips. We all, or we need three more moms. I'm playing Sam, Slime Rancher. Oh, how is that? I never had any issue with drift, luckily. Oh, and the, what I'm specifically meaning is uh, tr not like joystick drift, but like if you ever use like uh, the, the switch as like a pointer thing, like use the gyro in switch and are like trying to aim at a screen, it just this is how motion controls work is that they naturally like don't sync up and like in splatoon event like as you there's a reason there's that you can hit y to like recenter your controls the reason for that is naturally using gyro your controller will go off basis so you have to resync it every once in a while it's just a natural problem with drift right with motion controls the Wii was able to get around that because of the sensor bar the Wii sensor bar was able to register like where the Wemo was pointing, and as a result, it never really had that much of a drifting issue. As long as you were pointing at the sensor bar correct and where they're like the right distance away and everything, pe people never had that problem with the Wii. But now with like the Switch, the Switch Joy Cons, the Switch Pro controller, even the Wii U gamepad, and maybe the PS4 controller, I think the PS4 controller has gyro in it, people never had that problem. Or people have like a drifting problem. But I think Skyward Sword would be one of the few games that doesn't. Hopefully. Hopefully, anyways. Slow Far Slime Rancher is very fun. I really love it. I wanted to play it. And today was the first day I played it. I own Slime Rancher on Steam. And I played it when it first came out. And I, ha I had fun with it. And then I just, I never got back into it. I wanted to get back into it because it looked like a fun game, but I just, I never did. And one day I will, one day I'll get back into Slime Rancher, but eh, I got other things. I'm still freaking addicted to Forager and I got to play more Fall Guys because eh, I want that bullet costume so bad. Ah, oh, that bullet costume looks so cool. I do want to check the shop real quick and see if they have roses. I played it on Xbox and it was adorable. Didn't get back into it either. Yeah, no, it was pretty adorable. It was pretty adorable. Come on, roses. Roses. I, I think flowers actually refresh tomorrow, now that I think about it. I think they refresh on Monday. So, yeah. Let's see. Anything? Uh, I watered flowers... I don't think I have anything else to do. It's mostly just sitting here and watching some fireworks. So, there was the news of Skyward Sword HD, which we'll see. I, I hope. Uh, we, there was news on the Xbox. It looks like... So, a while ago we found out... Well, so Xbox discontinued production of the original Xbox a while ago. If you want a new and if you want an Xbox, you have to get either get the Xbox Series app. I mean, just... I mean, the X-Bone S or the X-Bone X. Those are your two options. But we found out recently that Xbox is actually discontinuing... All I see is for <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> yep, that's all I've been playing. But yeah, so those are your two options. But we found out recently Xbox is discontinuing the X-Bone Series X. So they're no longer making the X, and that makes sense. That makes sense. They're going to want people to buy, instead of buying an X-Bone X, you can just buy the Xbox Series X or the heavily rumored, definitely true. I mean, there's even official marketing material that leaked that has it on it, the Xbox Series S, 
which is probably going to be a smaller, cheaper option, and we'll probably find out about it, like, within three... My bet, my bet would be within three days of PlayStation 5 announcing its price point, Xbox will come out, announce their price point, and then give out uh, the Xbox... Then give announce the Xbox Series S, and it'll probably be, like, 300 bucks. Whereas the PS5 and Series X are probably going to be five to six hundred bucks. The X Bone is what I call the Xbox One. I've always called it the X Bone because I didn't like the X Bone. I did not like the Xbox One. And when we were clowning on it way back in the distant lands of 2012, we made fun of it by calling it the X Bone. And I never let it go. Because the original idea for the X-Bone was dumb as hell. And while I think Xbox has definitely gotten better, Game Pass is definitely pretty cool. Like, Game Pass is great, actually. I still re I'll still never let the X-Bone go. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> but yeah, so... But as part of that, so they're discontinuing the Xbox X-Bone X. And they're making a new model of the X-Bone S. So we're going to get the Xbox Series X, the Xbox Series S, and then we're going to get the X-Bone S version 2. Which is basically, it's just, it's from what I'm guessing, it's going to be an even cheaper Xbox. Because how it works is that Xbox doesn't care about people... Right, whether you're playing on PC, Xbox, Xbone, Xbox Series X, they don't care as long as you're in their ecosystem. That's what matters to Xbox. So people buy, even though the Xbox Series X comes out later this year, if you buy an X an Xbone S, that's perfectly okay with them because you're in their ecosystem. Xbox is playing the long game here, which is very different than the other companies, and I give them credit for that. That's a very... After they lost this generation... Yes, I know the Wii U also lost, but Xbox also lost as well. They really need to make some smart moves, and they are. I think the idea of not making sure they which one matters, whether you buy the X bonus or the Xbox Series X... The names are all confusing now, and that's a problem. Like, Because I, I guarantee you a grandparent is going to buy their kids an X Bone S when the kid wants an Xbox Series S. That's going to happen. But luckily, all games are playable on all systems, so Xbox isn't really worrying about it. That's understandable law. I grew up to, on a PlayStation person, and now I play Xbox some ones. Since I got my Switch, it's all I've been playing. They sure do care when you mod Minecraft. When we mod Minecraft, though. Oh, God. Minecraft mods are so much fun. Sky Factory. Oh, gosh. I sure... That was my, my longest stream to date is still Sky Factory. I did Sky Factory modded in Minecraft for over six hours. Back in... 2017? Question mark? Doesn't feel like that long ago, but I think it was. I think it was that long ago. Uh, but yeah, I'm 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 a Switch guy. I had a Wii U. I mean, if we go back far enough, I did have a PlayStation 2, but everybody had a PlayStation 2. And but yeah, that's that's besides the point. And nowadays I have an a uh, Switch, which I love, and I got a PS4 because I wanted to play games like God of War and Horizon Zero Dawn and whatnot, Ghost of Tsushima, and currently I have just played Fall Guys and Spider Man. Because I'm terrible. I am so terrible. Oh, in Minecraft, of course. Because freaking I have to buy Minecraft on everything and whatnot. Xbox has been killing every one of our modding hopes since I've been gun modding. It's on a PC game and joining on Xbox. Well, and I, but I do know, didn't Java become easier to mod a while ago? Because I know they... Didn't they actually release the source code for Minecraft Java to make modding easier in the future. I mean, you can't, like, just blatantly copy it, of course. But, like, to make modding easier, they just release the source code. It's not open license, but it's more... It's accessible to people. I don't I don't remember the exact details, but I know they did make modding easier for Java Edition. But I don't know anyone who uses Java. 
Really? Not that many people? See, I, I, everyone I know uses Java. Well, okay. Everyone I know uses Java, but I also do know a lot of people who've bought it on another console. I bought it on Switch because Minecraft on the go sounded really cool. And then because of cross-platform, everyone who has it on every other system can play it. I bought it on PS4 because of crossplay. So that way someone else could take my PS4, set it up, and crossplay it. That and that was pretty easy. Some don't even know what it is, lol. I started on Java. Yeah, I mean Java was the primary version to play for the longest time. And I still prefer Java. I think Java's the best version. Hands down. But I like I like the crossplay, man. The crossplay on Switch, PC, PlayStation, Xbox. That's just something you can't beat. That's so... That's just so cool. And I'm so glad... Like, Nintendo being on board with it totally makes sense. Microsoft doing it? Yep, totally get it. But I'm so glad they eventually won over PlayStation. And you can just do crossplay on everything. Oh, it's so... It's so good and so much fun. Because I've... Because I've had Switch... I've had two Switch players, an Xbox player a PC player, and a PS4 player all in a single game. Oh, and a smartphone player as well. Yep, I have had one of every system, plus P plus whatever, in a single game. And that's kind of really cool. That's something I'm so glad we can do in the modern world. Like, I, that's why I'm all aboard crossplay. That's why I love crossplay so much, and like, I hope like games like Fall Guys... If it does ever come to Switch and Xbox, which I'm betting in like six months to a year it will, I hope they add cross save, cr cross play, and cross save progression. Like I would love, like if I when I work hard to get that bullet costume sometime in the next two days, I would love to be able to use that bullet costume on like if I ever if in like a few months I buy the game on Switch if it ever comes to Switch. We'll see, we'll see. I want Fall Guys on Switch so bad. Oh, it's so much fun. It's I have it on PS4. Oh, I love it so much. It's I, I do hate the microtransactions, and it sucks that the game has those. I wish it was just a free to play game. If it was a free to play game, it'd be it it's gonna it'd be one of the biggest games of the year. It's still gonna be huge, but the microtransactions and the fact that it's got like a twenty dollar price point do hold it back in my book. I know that's not for everybody I know that's not how everybody thinks about it. But that's how I think about it. But it's... I, I gotta get that bullet costume. And I might stream me trying to get it. I might. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Because I have no... I've only streamed Animal Crossing. Since March. There was... We did do Splatoon once. I did Splatoon once back in June, I think. But since then, I've only streamed Animal Crossing. Here's a sad thing. I I used to only play mobile games. I found Stardew Valley on mobile with no regrets at all. But it was sad. I used to play mobile for... There, there's nothing wrong with playing mobile. It's a good entry point. And I do feel like mobile is getting better. With things like Apple Arcade and whatever the hell Google Play's equivalent is... There are, Apple is trying to make a better name for mobile games. And mobile game, like, I remember when some of the early, like, the iPod 3 came out and the iPod 4 and whatnot. There were some really good mobile games back in the day. There were some classics. But then more people got into the industry. They decided microtransactions were the big thing. Games like Flappy Bird made a million dollars a day. And the micro, the mobile industry just went to shit. It really did fall off. And now Xbox or Apple and Google are trying to make a better name for themselves. But there's only so much they can do, you know. But they're trying to be better. And there there are some good like I have down like on my phone, I have Downwell, which is a great game. I have Mini Metro, which is one of my favorite time waster games of all time. I, I ha I've had some of the... I had Mario Run. Some of those Nintendo games are okay. Mario Run was pretty decent. Fire Emblem was okay. Eventually, it just became Gotcha Waifu Simulator. But at the start, I was like, ah, this isn't too bad. Water flooring. Oh, I already know that one. 
And there's a few other ones. There's there's a, there's a few other mobile games that I can't think of the name of, but they're they're decent enough. Oh, look at my flower dingle bopper. Actually, so I did. So last time we showed off, I showed off all the different stuff, but I didn't. I didn't show off the fountain firework. So let's check out the fountain firework, shall we? I have five Fire Emblem Heroes, and I'm waiting for more levels. I got, I was I liked Fire Emblem when it first came out. I was like, oh, Fire Emblem Heroes, this is pretty fun. And then at some point, it just lost me, and I never could get back into it. Like at some point, like I put it down one day. And then I just never picked it up again, and then the microtransactions just got... And then, like, probably, like, a year later, the microtransactions got worse, and I just gave up on it completely. So let's check out this fountain firework. I'm not expecting much. <laughs> that was cute. That was cute. And you got the sparklers. Yeah, <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, no problem. And we got some bubbles. Do you remember, you know what firework, oh god, I, I always hated them. The snakes, where you like, you lit them and then they like grew into like a snake. And like, what, I like, like even like dumb like sparklers, I'm like, oh, I get that, that's kind of fun. But I never understood snakes. Snakes were just so dumb. They just like, they were like little pucks that just grew into like, black like snakes they were so boring and dumb ah uh, i hated them i hated them so much <laughs> oh god there's one you know this might you can probably find I, I think i uploaded this online many years ago but it was like it was this little like silver ball think of uh, ever seen a snake in my life it was a little silver ball. What, what would be a good co size comparison? Like, it's... It was probably... It was, like, definitely bigger than, like, a ball bearing. But it was, like... Like, you could definitely, like, hold it in your hand. It was... It was small-ish. It was a pretty small thing. But when you lit it, it just exploded. It, it was... It was super small, but it's one of the biggest fireworks I had seen for, like, size comparisons. Just ex oh my god, it was so big, and I don't, I don't remember where he, we had like people over and they brought the like the bottle rockets and the Roman candles and whatnot. But God, it was like it was so small, but it was so freaking powerful. And I think I put a video of it up online because it, it just impressed me. Like I was like, what? What is this? This is crazy. Every Fourth of July. I threw stink bombs at people. <laughs> oh gosh. We're past statute of limitations, right? Um I'm not gonna I I had a, I had a firework story I was gonna tell that my, my grandfather told me about him and the neighborhood kids. But no, I'm I'm not gonna risk statute of limitations. No, no, no. <laughs> uh Oh, God. I pray nothing you say gets taken out of context. <laughs> oh, I, I've, I've been doing this for ten years. There's plenty of stuff to take out of context. Especially over these past five months. Doing this Animal Crossing series. Uh, we take. I'm gonna sell that at the store. We. I don't need it. See, it's stuff like this that will one day. One day, I'll like. I'll be running for like a senator position or something, and then all of the stuff I've ever said on Twitch will come back to haunt me. People will go digging through these 
150 hours of streams and whatnot. And yep, they'll find it all. <laughs> yeah, it could be worse. So, we're at day 150, and I wanted to get a 5-star island by day 150. Admittedly, I only decided that like two weeks ago, but I really wanted to get a 5-star island by day 150, and that just didn't happen. Kinda sucks. It does. It also sucks that I didn't buy turnips this morning, because I bet I put money on it right now, my turnip prices are going to be 150. Or, are gonna, I mean, we're going to be 500. I put money on it right now. But gosh, I... Okay, maybe not... They're gonna be high, whatever it is. But yeah, I wanted to get a five-star island. And nope, we're still at four. I know there's more areas I can go around and I can decorate. Like, I'm only starting to bring trees... Like, replant trees. But ah... Uh, I was really hoping. I was really hoping. But ah... Uh, it doesn't always work out like that. And then tomorrow I start up college. Don't have to go in down to the university tomorrow, but the day after that, I kind of hope it does because guess who wasted all their money on turnips? We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely keep an eye out on my numbers. I'll like I always do. Yeah, I start university tomorrow. Uh, I mean, let's just skip to the five stars and plant our own Lily of the Valley. Lol. <laughs> yep, just skip the five star. I Isabel won't give me five stars. Fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, God, I start university tomorrow and that's going to be fun. Oh, God. It's going to be a pain in the ass. But I'm still going to be here. I, I already got one from a friend. <laughs> I, I'm still going to... I'm still... Even though I'm starting to get burned out 150 days in, I'm still going to try to aim for 365. I'm probably going to break around Christmas. I still... I still have... I, I still expect to break around Christmas. But I... Right now, I'm still... I still think I'm going to do it. Even if every stream doesn't happen until, like... 10 o'clock at night. I'm still going to do 365. I'm going to tr I'm going to try. I'm going to damn try. But we'll see. We'll see. You start school Wednesday. Yeah, it's We are these are these are weird times we live in. Weird, we weird times we live in. But eh, hopefully everything will be okay. Hopefully. Kirby, Luma. Oh God, there's no good angle from the mountain. Kirby. Garbo. Bullet. Figured it was coming every 20 or so years. I think a plague or a major pandemic. Yeah, I... Roosters and Slime Rancher. Shh. Yeah, I mean, it, it was about... I mean, like, Obama. You, you can go back and find Obama talking in, like... 2011 about how he's expect how he was like expecting it to happen in the next like 10 or 20 years. Of course, I still stand America's handled this worse than every other country in the world. I mean, New Zealand got rid of it. New Zealand got rid of it. Uh, Vietnam got rid of it. Most other countries are below like 200 cases a day. Meanwhile, American deaths are a 9/11 a day, almost anyways. But nobody fucking cares. Nobody fucking cares. What's your opinion on uh Trump? Fuck him. Fuck him. 
He he's dismantling our postal service. The true hero of the American people, the post worker. Fuck him. Okay, admittedly, dismantling of the postal service was Bush's problem, and Obama didn't do anything to fix it. But Trump's being complicit in it. Trump is being complicit in it. Fuck him. True here. I mean, you don't hear people going around writing songs saying fuck the Postal Service. Nobody says that because they're the true hero of the American people. Ra heat, snow, rain, fascism. They'll do what they're can they can to get you your, their, your package. <laughs> that, that was when the whole uh, all cops are bastard thing started. That was one of my... F that Someone did like a thing where it's like, P P everybody hates the cops, but nobody hates... Because somebody posted a thing about when the whole all cops are bastards thing started. Because all cops are bastard. Fuck the police. Someone said something about how, um, let's remember who the true people, the true heroes were on 9-11. The police. And everyone's like, no, the police did very little on 9-11. The real hero were the firefighters. You don't hear people going around writing songs saying, fuck the, fuck the firefighters, because they did their damn jobs. It's the cops that are bastards. And yep, cops are fucking bastards. Even if they're not bad people... They're still complicit. And the ones who aren't complicit, they lose their jobs. Because the whole system's corrupt. I've seen firefighters joining the protest against the cops. Yep. Everybody likes the cops. Everybody likes the postal service. Or everybody likes the firefighters. Everybody likes the postal or the postal service. Nobody likes the cops. Fuck the police. I said that wrong the first time, but fuck the police. Yeah. I was not expecting you to get this political at the very end. <laughs> but it happened. That's... Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Good times. Good times. Fuck the police. Do you... Wait. Yeah, you do see fireworks in the window. Can I, like, add you on Switch? <laughs> oh, yeah, um... Sure, sure. I'm probably gonna end right now, but yeah, if you want to come by again, and I can, I can, to I'm totally down to come down and visit your island. I haven't visited an island in a while, so yeah, I, I totally be down to come see your island. Oh god, 45 I hours in Forager. Oh god, I put too much time into Forager. God, that game cons that game has consumed me the past 3 days. I need to give it up. I just unlocked terraforming so you're going to have to wait a few days. Okay, yeah, sure. Get ready to see for yeah it's for because forager i'm over 210 in minecraft or i'm over 210 in animal crossing and 300 in minecraft i've double your hours on it wow how you just unlocked terraforming oh my god admittedly i only play once a day for like an hour or so sometimes two so, like, that makes sense, but, uh, but 300 in Minecraft. Golf, I could play Golf Story again. I, I've been considering playing Golf Story again. It's so good. I think I only, and I only have, like, 150 in, um, Smash. I don't have that much. I play all day and all night. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I think that's where we're gonna end off for today. I'll be back tomorrow. I, you know, I think for this next week... 425 in Animal Crossing. Oh my god. I think for this next week, I need to work on the upstairs and the basement. Yes, we have some things, but I feel like for the next week, I need to... I, I should really put some time into my upstairs and my basement. Yeah, it was good meeting you, Ivy of Salem. And it was good having you around, Mush. It's always a pleasure to see you. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think that, so I think that's next week's plan, is to work on the upstairs in the basement. Spend a day or two on each, get, buy some stuff. Because we got to make our creepy basement even creepier. I actually do have a plan. I don't know if we'll be able to pull it off. But I have some plans. Oh, do I have some plans. <laughs> but yeah, that's where we're going to head off for today. Yeah. Fireworks were fun. I love I, I love that Smash Bros. firework. That looks so nice. Here in your rants and other stuff. God. I'm just very passionate. Passionate about Nintendo and about how we should fuck how fuck the police, because they're terrible. Defund the police, put take away their all their military equipment, uh require at least one year minimum of training, and uh, uh, get jobs like house checks that should not be done by police, done by people who are actually qualified. Because fuck the police. <sighs> like, there's no reason for a town in the middle of butt fuck nowhere's Kansas to have a tank. But they have that tank, alright. You don't really give two shits on anyone's bad opinions. Hey, there's a scorpion! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a long time. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.